तुम नहीं समझोगे क्योंकि तुमने कभी एक ही एक्सरसाइज हजार बार नहीं की सूरज से पहले कभी दुनिया नहीं देखी अपने आप से शायद कभी परफेक्शन नहीं मांगा क्योंकि तुम्हारे लिए वर्कआउट तो सिर्फ एक न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन है कभी तुम्हारे लिए थोड़ा अली और कभी बहुत लेट है तुम नहीं समझोगे क्योंकि तुम डिसिप्लिन भी एक ऐप की तरह डाउनलोड करोगे और अगर तुम नहीं समझोगे तो शायद तुम हम नहीं बन पाओगे वॉट कम्स टू योर माइंड वेन यू हेयर द वर्ड फिटनेस इज इट एक्सरसाइज स्पोर्ट्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्वेट or should i say gym well most of you have thought of the same for many gym and their fitness is synonymous why do people go for gym actually it increases your commitment to fitness routine as working out with a crowd enhances consistency duration and motivation one study found that 95% of those who started a weight loss program with friends completed the program compared to a 76% completion rate for those who tackled the program alone exercising at gym gives you a competitive edge as one may push oneself harder when others are grunting alongside of you is the innate competitive streak in all of us another important point is it also diversify your workout think of how much you could benefit from a little encouragement when dragging yourself through those 3 miles on the treadmill when you work out at the right place with right people you get uplifted and encouraged to be your best
प्रोटीन शेक ले और अपना शरीर तोड़ पसीना बहा बाहर निकल के देख तेरे को एक से एक शेक मिलेंगे तू एक ढूंढेगा तेरे को दस मिलेंगे जैसे कि नेस्ले रिसोर्स हाई प्रोटीन हर्बा लाइफ इंश्योर कोर फ्यूजन वे प्रोटीन बिग मसल्स वे प्रोटीन इनको खा पी और अपनी जिंदगी जी बड़ी मसल्स कर बूढ़ा है आदमी औरत है अमीर है गरीब है तेरे लिए प्रोटीन शेक अवेलेबल है With people locked in their homes, this completely transformed the fitness industry. COVID-19 ने हमें एक चीज तो जरूर सिखा दी that health is wealth and people started investing in it. Hi guys, I'm Vaibhav Arora and I'll give you an overview of the Indian fitness app industry and how the global pandemic completely transformed this industry for the good. In this video, I will give you an overview about the fitness app industry. how it was affected by the global pandemic its major players the business model of few of the fitness apps and the future prospect of the indian fitness app industry the major players in the indian fitness app industry are helify me cofit and fitup however according to a report by app anime and analytics website Around 71,000 new apps were launched on the Google Play Store in the year 2019 and 2020 combined. According to a report published by the World Economic Forum, the fitness app industry grew by 46% worldwide, while the fitness app industry in India grew by 156%. Helify Me, CureFit, and Fitter, the major players in the Indian fitness app industry, what happened to them? Healthify Me recorded an increase of 21 million users making its user count to 58 million which is the population of Italy yes you guessed it right CureFit recorded an increase of 6.5 million users while Fitter recorded an increase of 8.5 million users in the year 2019 and 2020 combined now downloading these apps may be free but using them may not now 25 in some of these apps around 25% of the features are free but for using the rest of the features you need to pay a certain amount so now i will talk about the business model of the three base three major market holders that is healthify me fitter and cofit so how does healthify me work so healthify me is basically an app where you get your dietary needs your fitness consultant needs and much more So what happens is that you need to the business model is that you download the app for free and then in order to get your own private plans in order to get your own dietary requirements you need to pay an amount ranging from 299 to 399. Next we come on to CureFit. The CureFit works on a business model where 25 20% of the stores are offline while 80% of the business model is online. There are a number of classes that are available for free. but in order to get a customized plan with your diet your relaxation and your fitness regime you need to pay an amount ranging from 1000 to 2000 and can go as high up to 5000 and after that i'll talk about cofit oh i talked about cofit sorry i'll talk about fitter now fitter is completely different from all the two apps that i've talked about in fitter there are basically communities there are fitness communities with a particular target in mind now you 
have to pay a certain amount every month to be a part of these communities. These communities could be gym communities. These communities could be calisthenics communities. These communities could be running communities. So be a part of these communities. You get access to different community services, different community activities that are happening, community t-shirts. So this is the basic running model of these fitness apps. Although some features are free in order to attract custom customers to their app once they attract these customers in order to get additional features you don't need to pay a certain amount so this is in general or in brief the fitness model or the business model of these fitness apps oh hi so what's the future of the indian fitness industry well the Indian fitness industry is here to stay, uh, not just take my opinion, but according to a report published by Deloitte India, the fitness industry in general in India is supposed to grow at a rate of 8% while the fitness industry, Indian app fitness industry is going to grow at a rate of 46% in the next 5 years. According to a report published by an international journal, the number of uh, Indian uh, fitness app users would be 2.6 billion globally so with people locked in their homes and becoming more fitness conscious and with time constraints it is more likely that the fitness industry is here to stay thank you that's it from my sec i need to go to complete my fitness routine thank you there was a time when people had to hire personal trainers or make appointments with dietitians and nutritionist in order to understand the science behind weight loss, muscle training, high intensity interval training and much more. But now health and fitness YouTubers have made all this information available to us in the easiest way possible through videos and on a free platform. And Indian fitness YouTubers have really carved their way to become one of the top fitness influencers. Now we are going to talk about top fitness YouTubers starting with Rohit Khatri Fitness. Rohit Khatri has 4.66 million subscribers. Rohit Khatri is a 24 year old fitness instructor as well as a nutritionist from New Delhi. He began his YouTube channel in December 2016. With a brand new video each Sunday he shares tips on bodybuilding diet plans as well as fitness motivation videos. Next up we have Ranveer Alabadia. Ranveer Alabadia have 3.52 million subscribers. He is a 27 year old fitness, fashion, meditation, health, grooming, weight loss, personal finance, entrepreneurship as well as motivational YouTuber from Mumbai. He began his YouTube journey in 2014. He started out by sharing his own fitness journey but gradually began dipping his fingers into other things as well. Then we have Guru Man. Guru Man has 2.22 million subscribers. Guru Man is an Indian American 39 year old fitness YouTuber and sports nutritionist hailing from Amritsar, Punjab. He began his YouTube journey in December 2015. Guru Man provides workout programs, nutrition plans, health and fitness tips as well as product reviews on his channel. Then we have Jeet Salal. Jeet Salal has 3.19 million subscribers. Jeet Salal is a fitness training influencer and YouTuber from Uttarakhand. He began his YouTube journey in January 2016. He is also the founder and CEO of the nutrition brand Himalayan Stelion. He found his brand with the aim to create awareness about health and fitness amongst Indian communities and to work against the drug abuse in sports in India. Then we have Amit Pangal. Amit Pangal has 1.89 million subscribers. Amit Pangal is a 29 year old bodybuilder fitness instructor, fitness and fashion model, online trainer, personal trainer and fitness YouTuber hailing from Haryana. He began his YouTube journey in June 2005. 
He shares workouts and training programs from beginners to advanced levels, as well as tips for diets and fitness supplements with his audience. In the 21st century, people also realizes the need of yoga and meditation because mental health is as important as physical health nowadays. Yoga is useful for people to all age groups. Yoga has several benefits like mental satisfaction, increasing in learning power, helps you remove intoxicants from body and improve health and heart functioning. You can do hard as well as soft yoga as per your need and will. Current market of yoga is around 41 billion dollars worldwide and is expected to rise to 60 billion dollars by 2026. The need of yoga is very important nowadays because of COVID. We all know the importance of our health to remain alive in this scenario. Today everyone including politicians as well as actors are busy to promote yoga because it has immense importance and everyone realizes that.